What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. This weekend we decided to go away with a few friends. Yeah. So behind me is a Kenyan chalet and it's pretty damn cool. Oh my goodness guys, like I can't stop smelling so big this and just for your guys' reference, like we paid for this, all of our friends, we all chipped in. Um the detail and the decoration is unbelievable. What you see there, it's true excitement. Oh, 100%. she's in love with this place. <laughs> I've been place. bouncing since we arrived. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's go. <laughs> I think she wants to show you guys. So if you think the outside looks pretty nice, just wait. Come inside. And I'm going to preface this with, I'm going to show you a lot more details than I normally do on a room house tour um, because I don't want you to miss out on it because I didn't know these were here by looking at the listing. So let's go. Before Tracy starts, I just want to show you that there's a wind snowman there and it has a little beard. So that's pretty cool. Welcome to Kiara Cottage. So when you first come in, there's actually like a food stall table. Didn't know that was here. And we'll show you when we see the living room, but like right beside it is a hammock too. Like an inside hammock? Yes, please. As we walk around, I want you to take notice of all the lights. I think the lights are a super cool style. So, back to the kitchen. We have like a bar stool area here, some piping. It's really cool. I just love the detail. Um, and then you come over here into the kitchen. You have a full kitchen. And actually with this cottage, there is a chef here and you can hire him to do your meals. We ended up bringing all of our food, but that's all right. Um, like I said, full kitchen, like full-on sets of pots and pans. Again, lights. So cool, so cool. And keep going. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna see me get distracted a lot. Full fridge. Our produce is all stored in here. And then we come into like a little seating area. Is this what you said for the alcohol cabinet was? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, how do I open this though? Oh, like this. It's childproof. Oh, we might have brought a lot. <laughs> we just get close that mm. back up. We have friends, okay? Um, again, over here there's a sink, super cool sink with a bucket in it. And then you have a seating area here. Again, lights. Lights. Um, and then we're coming into the main living room. So you have like a little chill pillow here that you can chill here. And they do put a fire on at night, he said. I'll show you outside too, it's pretty cool. And then if you see, this is what I meant by the foosball table and hammer. So this is your big area. Ceilings are massive. It is just stunning. You come in here and we're gonna have our first set of bedrooms, basically. So we have a closet there, a bedroom here. Where should I go first? Let's, let's go into here first and then I'll show you up the ladder. You come in here and it's actually the bathroom. So this is what I would say is the master bedroom because it has its own bathroom off of it. Again, details. The tub is like an old wash tub and you have a shower, your bathroom, but just come here, come here. Look at this. This is your shower. It's got a bucket on top of it. I just, ah, oh, the style, it's getting me. Okay, come on. How cool is this? There's a loft bedroom. Ugh. Don't hurt yourself. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's super cool. Bed up here. Yeah, we have like six people coming, so we actually thought we were gonna have to use something outside, and I will show you what that is. Um, but actually with all of the beds, we don't have to at all. So, oh, David's gonna show you another one of his favorite things down here too. <laughs> My favorite thing is this. I think it's an elephant bone or dinosaur. Comment down below if you think it's a dinosaur. <laughs> so then you come over here, you have a little desk area and like even the bookshelf is made out of like piping, which is super cool. But the coolest part, my favorite part, look at the light. It's a bicycle. And like how cool is this? Like I want this in my house. 
I think it's super cool. I'm using cool a lot, guys, sorry. We gotta do a cool count. Um, so we come down here into the other bedrooms. Uh, there is a bathroom right there. Normal bathroom, but still decor is super cool. Um, and then you have a double room here, so two twin beds. Bedroom. And then a bedroom in here where you have another double bed. So, I, mean, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's go outside and show you the other bedroom. Yeah, there's another bedroom. So now we come to the outside. And I'm gonna tell you before we show you the outside, when we booked our stay, he did message us and be like, it's actually under construction right now. Um, I just asked if everything was still usable. He said yes. So what you see, there's gonna be wood overlay is my understanding. Okay, come outside. We have like a little plunge pool. I feel like it's a hot tub. I mean, it's not hot right now, but it has the potential to be a hot tub. Anyways. You come over here, and we have, I would say it's more of a, what would you call that? Fountain-y pool? Kinda. Display pool. Display pool. And then, over here, you have your other pool. It actually looks fairly deep, not gonna lie. And then over here, my favorite part, well, one of my favorite parts, is, oops, probably just shouldn't step on that, is our fire pit. I love how massive this is, and like, there's just so much room to bring people, and that's amazing. Now, another cool spot, come over this way. How cool are these day beds? I think they're pretty cool. I need a, I need a new word, guys. Give me a new word for awesome. cool. Awesome. Awesome. It's perfect. Oh. <laughs> that's been a while. This place actually is perfect, not yeah. gonna lie. Okay, so when I was saying that somebody might sleep in another spot, this is the other spot. And it is just as cool. It has its own tent on property for more people to sleep. So come on inside. You have your last bedroom as a safari tent outside on property. So you have a double bed here. And this is the cool part. You have your own semi outside bathroom, full bathroom. You have a shower that comes from, where is it? Right there. <laughs> into there you have your bathtub a really cool wooden bucket sink like guys i think this just took top airbnb that we've ever stayed at just saying just saying so while we're waiting for everyone to show up um david is currently trying to see if we can make a thumbnail out of this <laughs> well, his hair is very windburnt whatever um <laughs> so he's doing that and they're gonna be a little bit later because, well, traffic and it happens. So I'm gonna start making my amazing fajitas. It's one of our friend's birthday and he doesn't know that we're celebrating his birthday here, but we're going to. Um, so yeah, I gotta get started on the tortillas and the chicken and maybe a glass of wine. Yeah, right? and we have cool plans for tomorrow too. Oh yeah, that's true. Stay tuned for tomorrow. You're not gonna tell them. Why not? We're in Navasha. That gives a big hint. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. So at first when they said that we were using this to basically heat the house. I was a little worried because there's no chimney there, but it's actually charcoal. They just put some charcoal in there, starting to be nice and hot, and that's it. Now, let's pop some bubbly because that's what we do on this channel. We drink wine. And we're gonna have a little quality time before friend you show up. Yes, <laughs> we'll do that too. And I, I actually have a very, very special friend who's coming this weekend. Very excited about oh, seeing him. Oh, that is true. <laughs> Guys, I almost lost an eye. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> like, I'm. So, whew, my heart's beating so fast. Like, you your face. because, no, I, I, I don't know how it didn't. So, you know, normally, like, every time we pop a bottle of champagne, we film it, do a little slow motion or whatever. But, like, I just undid, like, the, the, the middle part and everything stayed together and it popped. Like, I've never seen a bottle yeah, of like champagne wire, popped like this. The wire is still on the cork. Yeah. Like, you turned it, like, once. See? still there. 
That's oh, insane. that was crazy. And it went really far. Like it touched the <laughs> ceiling and went like all the way on the other side of the kitchen. Well, that was dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get the uh, candid moment. There. I wish I wish you were filming. That would have been funny. Like my face was probably like a thousand yeah, dollar face. Yeah, you were really scared. Like I didn't realize it was that close. <laughs> yeah, right. like I felt the wind of the cork like going. <laughs> Something a little bit more comfy for tonight. Mm -mm. Ubi, of course, first thing down below. And uh, so our friends are almost here. And you guys know I talked about this before, but I don't like to be this guy that, you know, I'm a vlogger and everyone needs to be in my vlog. Uh, so I always like respect people that don't want to be on camera. So you might not see a lot of them, but don't worry. You guys are always my priority. So you're still going to come along. Don't worry about it. it. Smells pretty good. I'm super excited. It's gonna be yummy. Making lots of food for all of our friends. Gonna have a good night. My happy place. Look at how cool the outside is. They even have like lights in the pool and everything. Can't wait to have a fire with some friends. We never spend time with friends. Like literally never because we spend our time making vlogs. Don't get me wrong. We love doing it and I'm gonna keep doing it. That's my priority. Priority. I can talk. But yeah. It's gonna be a good time, guys. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are here too. Come on, come on. Good morning. It is the next day. We have a cool adventure planned today. But first, we have a lot <laughs> of tortilla left. That means we can make breakfast burritos. Let's go. <laughs> so we had breakfast. We're all ready to go, all energized. Um, we're full of breakfast burritos. <laughs> they were actually pretty dang good this morning. <laughs> yeah. Putting pico in it? Yes, yeah. please. Okay, so we are actually going on a boat safari. Um, some of our friends have been to Navasha before, but some have never been to Crescent Island. So that is our goal today. Um, just a tip too. So if you stay in an Airbnb, what we did is we just called Anashape and we're like, hey, we're staying outside of your resort. Can we go for a boat safari. They've said yes. We're not there yet. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And, but and we'll let you guys know how much it costs because I, I really don't know. Especially when you're not actually staying on the resort. Yeah. Um, so yeah, catch you guys up shortly when In we're the on the boat. boat. I'm, I'm on the boat. Yeah, I was just going to say. I'm on the boat. Everybody <laughs> look at me because I'm standing on a boat. <laughs> and we are here. Let's go see if we can find a boat that fixed six people. That, that, there, there's it's that gonna too. It's going to be a little tight. It's going to be a little <laughs> tight. That's fine. Let's go for a boat ride. Tracy's putting sunscreen on me because I don't like that she's in sunscreen. Because a child. It's gross. It's greasy. Thank you. Hello. I'm filming. Too bad. Thanks, Mom. So the camp behind me, we just found out, was actually the oldest camp here on the lake. It was started in 1935, I believe it was. And now you can see like the first four tents, they're fully submerged because of the rising of water. So we're almost there at Crescent Island. I see it. Hopefully we're gonna see some giraffe, some antelope. Some zebras, anything else? That's pretty much it, yeah. So welcome to Crescent Island, beautiful island in the middle of Lake Nevasha. If you have never been here, it's a must. It's really cool because this island has no predator. So all the animals like giraffe, zebras, water buck, and antelope and everything, buffaloes even, don't, don't get too close to buffaloes though. They just, you know, walk freely so you can get pretty close to them, which makes it quite a unique experience. For a resident, it costs a thousand shillings per person. And I think for non-residents, about $30 US, but it's pretty cool. Me, 
guys are very, very rare animals. They're called wild tourists. So they're people from all around the world that have never really been close to wildlife and they're just with their phone and stuff. It's, they're, they're very rare. If you ever encounter those, just stay far from them. Tracy, why is there animals on Crescent Island? I already told you this, I'm pretty sure. The movie Out of Africa. So they brought the animals here to film and there actually was one lion too. And then they took the lion away, but they left the rest of them here. <laughs> and now it's a conservancy. So they basically have like no predators, which is why they're thriving. Even though it looks very sunny, I think the rain is coming because I can hear some thunder at the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Felt a few raindrops, even though again, it's very sunny still, but there, it's hard very to dark. Yeah, I know. So let's go back in the boat. So you also have the option to have a guide with you or you can do the walk on your own. This time we didn't have a guide because last time we did. So yeah, and I was able to find out where uh, the boat is again. So pretty proud of myself. It's kind of in the Boy Scout when I was a kid, so that's where I learned that. So we just got back off the boat. It was really good. It was good. good. Yep. It was good. We saw a ton of birds, yep. a lot of hippos, and on the island, once again, a lot of giraffes and everything. But like, I just love we being able so to get close. close. I know. Yeah. So that was really cool. Um, and I said that I was going to talk about yeah. prices. So for the boat, it was very cheap. They charge per boat and not per person. Which we've always paid per person and previously. The boat fits eight people. Yeah. And it's four thousand Kenyan shillings. That's it. That's amazing. That doesn't include like the park fees on the island. Yeah. But still. That, that's really good. And then really park good. fee on the island is a thousand? I said that. Oh, oops. And 30 US for non-residents. <laughs> Tracy. I need coffee. I need some coffee. <laughs> so now the rain is coming. It's really coming. Actually, oh, yeah, it's yeah. starting a little bit. So we're going to go back to the cottage. We have some uh, good food waiting for us. Oh, yeah. Cottage. Yeah. Pretty pumped. <laughs> go live that cottage life. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> So where our house for the weekend is, it's actually, it's actually called Giraffe Height. And I was like, oh, that's a cool name. But there's actually giraffe, like, right there. It's pretty cool. We went all the way to Crescent Island to see giraffes. And they're literally in a backyard. Just get out of the truck for uh, to open the gate. And Tracy's like, I drive in, I drive in. We'll see if she can do it. Good, good. You got it. I can do it. Good job. I can do it. High five. <laughs> Back to the house. Are you ready for our little snack? Oh, I thought you were gonna say our little friend because he's gonna be. So <gasps> oh yeah, ready? Stitch is there. Let's go see him. Hiya. Hi, buddy. Hi, Stitch. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so yes, this place is actually pet friendly. We even left him for a few hours in here. Didn't destroy anything. I'm sure like the, the, really the yeah, the caretakers are really good with the dog yeah. too, so pet friendly. So we got a box from Queen Delhi before we came here. And from what I understand, it's a charcuterie box with a whole bunch of cheese, meats. Let's see what's inside. That box they really had like a bunch of different stuff like cheese and charcuteries but also a little bit of like um, honey some nuts a bunch of different stuff dry fig that are very good as well I recommend especially with friends and wine of course because you know everything's better with wine it might not rain after all right now it's half sunny I think I think it might be fine now this time of the day, best time of the day. We're all here with a bunch of adults. It's 3.50. Everyone went for a nap, except me.
Tracy is like in Naha and I just reading a book. Reading a book. People are boring. They all stay late much later than me though. True. So there's that. So I guess I'm gonna work. I guess. Time for a little pick me up. So guys, it's pretty cold outside and this pool is freezing, but when you have a bathing suit that looked this good, you just gotta go in. So if you wanna grab one of those sweet Ubi bathing suit, first thing down below, as usual, you're gonna love them. It is burger night because when you're out with friends, you gotta eat some burgers. Well, Faye does, but that was yesterday, not two days in a row, everyone would hate me. So, making burgers, made them myself, and got some charcoal. I think it's gonna be pretty good if I can cook them properly. Sales my burger, I'll accept nothing but excellent. I haven't tried it yet. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. At a great supper. I was gonna say fire time. <laughs> time to go by the fire and re relax. I stole the thunder. Yeah, yeah. It's not very nice. It's very blue here. Wow. I feel like I'm in a nightclub. <laughs> So guys, this is the end of our little weekend getaway with our friends and it was phenomenal. This is for sure my new favorite Airbnb here in Kenya. Yeah. So this is, like you said, like we brought our friends, but it is perfect for a group. For a group. You're not on top of each other. Like the space, I felt like we had like yeah. lots of space. Um, there is one review, which I do kind of agree with. So there is a seating outside for a dinner table. They could do with like a bigger one inside, but all that we did, which worked well for us, is we did everything buffet style anyway, yeah. and then we just sat around. Yeah. But it is beautiful. Yeah, they advertise it for like 10 people yeah. up to 14. I would say like that's that's way too many people for that house. Yeah. Uh, but like we but were, 10 would be we okay. were we were six. Six was like perfect. I would say eight is yeah. good too. We Ten is even, really top. We never even ended up using the tent outside yeah. because we all fit inside. Yeah. But. Well, Overall, yeah. very good. The staff were, they were amazing. They oh, yeah. they came to do our dishes like twice a day. <laughs> I know. I was like, they were okay, always like... there making sure we, we weren't missing anything or whatever. Like, yeah. they were phenomenal. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's still there. Okay. <laughs> the, the biggest bug flew just by my ear. It was like this big. Jeez. Okay. So, um, um, the cost of this place is 40,000 uh, Kenyan shillings per night. Yeah. And yeah, basically it comes with, with, well, you bring your own food. Two special <laughs> mentions. Um, the fire pit is absolutely amazing. amazing. Yeah. Um, and then the other is just the decor inside. Like I can't yeah. get over how very, amazing the Very decor nice, is. very unique. Yeah. Highly recommend. Yes. Plus, and it's a great, it's in a great location. You're very close to uh, the Hell's Gate. You can go to different resort if you want to do a uh, boat rides like yeah. we did yesterday. So yeah, overall 10 out of 10 would do it again. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>